Hello, it's Rev Steve again. Welcome to Tea Time Church at Home, a time when we can meet together even though we're apart, and a time to meet with God as we listen to stories, sing songs and say our prayers. Now I'd like you to meet some friends of mine. Come on, you can come out now. Oh, here they come. <laughs> oh dear, well they're here to help me with a puzzle I have for you, and you might like to grab a paper and pen to help me. Come on guys, line up here. Now stop moving around, you'll make it more difficult. <laughs> That's better. Right, can you unscramble these letters to make a popular two-word phrase? I'll give you 30 seconds on the clock to see if you can work it out. Ready, steady, go! Do you know what the phrase is? That's right, it's thank you. Now it's my turn to say thank you to my little friends. Thank you guys, you can go now. Bye bye, see you later. Now I wonder when was the last time you said thank you and why? It's good to say thank you, isn't it? Life's very different at the moment compared to just a few months ago. One of the things I've noticed over the last few months is how many people have been saying thank you to the people who care for others, to people who keep our shops and services running, and to those people who lend others a hand without being asked. There's a story in the Bible about a man who said thank you to Jesus. The man had been very ill and Jesus made him better. So let's watch and listen now as Joe from the Little Worship Company tells us the story of Jesus and the ten lepers. Welcome to Little Worship Company Bible Time. My name's Joe, and I'm going to read a Bible story from the book of Luke 17, 11 to 19. It's called Jesus and the Ten Lepers. What clues do we have in the bag today to help us with our story? Ooh, a rag shawl. Oh, let's see how this is going to appear in the story, shall we? It was a lovely sunny day in Galilee, the perfect day for a long walk with God, or so Jesus thought, as he set out on the road to Jerusalem. For mile after mile, hour after hour, Jesus talked happily with his heavenly Father, giving thanks for his goodness and sharing his thoughts and concerns. When Jesus reached the edge of Samaria, he decided to take a break. He turned off the main road and headed towards a village to find some food. Suddenly, he stopped. Some people were calling his name. Jesus! Jesus! There was a wall surrounding the village. Standing a little way from the wall was a group of men. They were dressed in rags and huddled together. Jesus! Oh, over here! Jesus looked over to see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten men calling and, and waving at him weakly. Jesus, Lord, help us, please. The men weren't well. They all had a terrible disease. They weren't allowed to go near other people in case they caught the disease too. It made the men very sad and very lonely. Jesus wanted to help them. Each one of them was a precious child of God and he wanted to show them just how much God cared for them. Friends, go and show yourselves to the priests, he called out to them. Now, the priests worked in God's house. They were respected by everyone in the area. People trusted their opinions. If the priests said that the men were well, then they would be able to go and live in the village again with their family and their friends. 
the men looked at each other. They, they looked at their arms and their legs. They looked at the sores and the broken skin. But when they looked at Jesus, they knew it would be all right. The 10 men ran off as fast as they could. And as they went, the disease disappeared. It vanished from their bodies. By the time they reached the priest, their skin was as fresh and as beautiful as a newborn baby's. One man jumped for joy. This is the best day of my life, he cried and ran off. Another beamed from ear to ear. I can't wait to see my wife, he said, as he dashed off to find his family. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine healed and happy men headed for home. But when the tenth man realised he was well, he rushed back to Jesus and then he fell at his feet. Thank you, thank you, he said to Jesus. Glory to God who makes sick people better, the God who has made me well again. Jesus looked around. Friend, he said, weren't there ten men here before? The man nodded. Then where are the other nine? Jesus said, how come only one of you came back to give thanks to God? Jesus sighed. God was so good to everyone. He was always doing kind and wonderful things. But how many people noticed or remembered to say thank you? Jesus helped the man up. He laid his hands on him and smiled and said, Go, live your life to the full. Your faith in God's goodness has made you well. <laughs> God is so kind, isn't he? He loves each one of us so, so much. We have all been given so many things to be thankful for. What will you run back to thank him for today, I wonder? Thank you for watching Little Worship Company Bible Time. See you again next time. Oh, and why don't you say a thank you prayer to God for the good things he's given you? What a great story. You know, it reminds me that thank you isn't just something you say with your mouth. It's something you feel in your heart. It comes as you realise how much you've been given and how much you are loved. In the story, the man reached out to Jesus at the lowest point of his life and Jesus heard him and Jesus gave him healing and hope. It made the man's heart overflow with praise and thankfulness. Over these last few months, I've found many things to be thankful for. The sunny weather, the singing of the birds, the cookies that Millie from our street made for everyone. I'm also thankful for God's wonderful promises that he hears us, that he loves us and that he will give us all we need, that he will never leave or give up on us. And Jesus reminds us how happy it makes God when we remember to say thank you. And it's my attitude prayer that this attitude, which has really blossomed throughout these tough times, is something that will stay with us and will change us in the times to come. I give thanks to you, my Heavenly Father, for giving me such good things. I give you all my thanks. I give thanks to you, my Heavenly Father, for giving me such good things. I give you all my thanks for seals that squid and great blue whale, slugs and spiders, and a bucket of sting. I give you thanks. All that you've made, all you've made. The, wonders the wonders of creation, everywhere displayed. Yeah. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father, for giving me such good things. I give you all my thanks. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father, for giving me such good things. I give you all my thanks mm. For brooms and pizza, pizza. Stir-fry stew. Stir stew Chocolate and jelly, Chocolate and jelly. All, come all come from you Feed me and you clothe me you Watch me. over my sleep Cause you are my shepherd And I am your sheep Let the 
Just with amazing love. You're merciful and kind, and you love to forgive. And being your child is the only way to live. Only way to live. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father. You've given me such good things. I give you all my thanks. I give thanks to you, my heavenly Father. Such good things I give you all my thanks And I give you thanks You've given me such good things Oh, and I give you thanks You've given me such good things I give you all my thanks Yeah, you have given me such good things I give you all my thanks Cause you have given me such good things Dear Father God, thank you for your amazing love for us. Thank you that you always hear us whenever we call out to you. And give us thankful hearts, we pray, today and every day. Amen. Now, let's sing the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debts. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Will be done on earth as it is. 
you prayer. Thank you for my jumping legs. Thank you for my strong arms. Thank you for my listening ears. Thank you for my blinking eyes. Thank you for my nose that can smell. Thank you for my full tummy. Thank you for my cool hair. Thank you for my huge smile. Thank you, God, for amazing me. The grace Grace of our our Lord Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the the love love of of God, God, and and the the fellowship of the Holy Holy Spirit Spirit be with us all, evermore. Amen. Amen. Well, that's it for another week. It's been great to be with you. I hope you like my little friends. They're going to say goodbye too. Bye. Bye. Bye.